All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today we are breaking down Darnell Wright in a big time Chicago Bears victory, but we're going to focus on Darnell Wright's matchup against Aiden Hutchinson and how this rookie in Darnell Wright absolutely had a field day against the supposed great Lions edge defender Aiden Hutchinson. We've got a great set of cutups for you today. As always, if you appreciate this content, give us a like, give us a comment with any feedback you may have. But without further ado, let's jump right into this matchup. All right, here we go. First play in the cutup. We got Darnell Wright. Of course, there he is at right tackle on the left side of your screen. And you can see the Detroit Lions have five guys walked up on the line of scrimmage right here. And the whole point of bringing five guys right at the line of scrimmage is to get one-on-one -on -one matchups across the board. You got one-on-one -on -one there, one-on-one -on -one there, one-on-one -on -one here, one-on-one -on -one there. And of course, one-on-one -on -one here, Darnell Wright on Aiden Hutchinson. You create these one-on-one -on -one matchups because you think you have an advantage. You think 97 is better than 58 in terms of getting immediate and quick pressure. Because obviously, number one, he's no dummy. He sees all these guys walked up. He's thinking, okay, I have to get rid of the ball quickly. Still, from a defensive perspective, you're thinking, okay, 97 can beat 58 really quickly, either on an outside move, inside move, or bull rush. Either way, this should be, in the Lions' mind, advantage Aiden Hutchinson. But let's watch Darnell Wright take on this matchup and win it so cleanly and effectively ends up being a big play for the Bears' offense. You can see the snap again. You can see the five rushers. You can actually see the linebacker coming on a blitz right there. Although I think he's really just checking 23 of 23 releases. I think 34 would have picked him up. But there you go. We see the all-out pressure here. You see the one-on-one -on -one matchups across the board. Let's focus on Darnell Wright. See how he gets into his kick step right there. That's a beautiful looking kick step. I love his relationship. See how he keeps his body in a great position between Aiden Hutchinson and the quarterback. He doesn't get too overextended. He's got a heavy inside foot, allowing him to push off to get more depth than needed or to secure against the bull rush. Phenomenal technique. Gets his hands on him right there. He buries his head, Darnell Wright does, in Aiden Hutchinson's chest. That's not, not ideal, but in terms of blocking and execution, great work. Because again, you can see Aiden Hutchinson, Completely negated right there. No chance. Completely defeated. Again, Hutchinson is a good player, right? He's supposed to be a really great player. Supposed to be the next great edge defender in the NFL. And Darnell Wright takes him one-on-one -on -one here and just dominates him. Big completion for a first down, Justin Fields right there. Again, the Bears offense, obviously Fields playing better. DJ Moore is getting better and better in this offense. But a lot of it hinges on pass protection. And Darnell Wright's job against Aiden Hutchinson, against the Lions, I think was the hidden secret to the Bears' success. And Hutchinson has been playing very good this season. Ninth overall edge defender in the NFL, a 90.1 PFF grade, which is a very good grade. He's been a very effective pass rusher. But Nick, Darnell Wright going up against him, very good. He actually had his best game in the pass blocking department. Fourth best game overall, 75.3 pass blocking grade. For Don R. Wright having to go up against Aiden Hutchinson numerous times. I think that speaks a lot about Darno Wright's future with this Bears team. He's very impressive. And when you go up against a tough, very talented opponent, you have to put in your best work. And he had his best day today. All right, next player in the sequence, you can see once again, there's Donald Wright at right tackle on the right and left side of your screen. Excuse me. Once again, the Lions have walked up a lot of people in the line of scrimmage. They've got one, two, three, four, five, and the six guys right there. This is, again, you got both linebackers walked up in the A gap right here. The whole point of this situation, whether they decide to bring these linebackers or not, is to create one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. Because obviously, if you have two linebackers walked up, these three guys have to secure these two as best they can, especially the center. You're going to get one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. And the big key right here is, once again, Darnell Wright, the rookie on Aiden Hutchinson, playing at a high level. Let's watch Darnell Wright win this matchup yet again for the Bears offense, and it results in another big play. And you see the snap. You can see the lines are bringing everybody, right? Running backs picking up one of the linebackers. Center picks up the other. One-on-one -on -one matchups across the board. Again, tough situation. You never want to be isolated one-on-one -on -one across the board if you're in pass protection. Puts a lot of stress on the offensive lineman, especially these tackles one-on-one -on, -one on great edge rushers. But watch where Darnell Wright does here. Let's look at the snap. So the snap is at the 11-yard line, the Bears own 11-yard line. If you're running the hoop in terms of a defensive end, you'd like to turn the corner about seven yards past the line of scrimmage, behind the line of scrimmage, so around the four to sack the quarterback. If you're an offensive lineman protecting, you obviously want to push him back past that point. So Darnell Wright would consider a good job pushing Hutchinson right around the two-yard line, about eight, nine yards uh, past the line of scrimmage there. Watch where he ends up driving him. He keeps driving him 
two yards deep into the end zone. Now, Fields gets really deep on this drop back here. This is the one thing I don't like from Justin Fields here. I think he feels the pressure by the linebacker, gets a little more depth, and I think that's why he almost gets sacked there. But I tell you what, if you look at what Darnell Wright did here in terms of driving him up the field, he drove Aiden Hutchinson 13 yards behind the line of scrimmage. That is phenomenal, folks. That's all pro-level stuff. And again, with that technique, great kick step. Gets on him, buries his head again into his chest. That's my least favorite part of his game, but he uses his hands and feet very well. He keeps working, keeps driving, doesn't hold. Outstanding work here again from Darnell Wright. Gives his quarterback, number one, a chance. He's able to escape. Big time play here for the Chicago Bears offense. Ends up being a big third down conversion, long run down the field. Again, it all starts with the pass protection up front, and it all starts winning these one-on-one -on -one matchups. This is designed for the Lions to win. Donald Wright takes advantage of the situation and does a great job. A lot of young tackles and a lot of tackles in general lose in these circumstances, but not Darnell Wright, and the Bears won because of it. And we talk about Darnell Wright having his best day pass blocking against Aiden Hutchinson. Let's look at the flip side. Look at Aiden Hutchinson's grade. By far his worst day of the season. A 52.7 overall defensive grade. This is a guy, like I said, graded out a 90.1 this season so far. So a 50.2 or a 52.7 for Hutchinson is an absolutely horrible grade. So not only did Darnell Wright do great today, he made Aiden Hutchinson look like a Bush League player. He absolutely demolished him and the grades back that up. Darnell Wright, fantastic job today against Aiden Hutchinson. All right, going the other way now, there is Donald Wright at right tackle, and this time on the right side of your screen. And the Bears have a normal kind of pass protection. They're running the pass protection to the offense's left, so they're going to call it this direction. Basically what that means, whether it's a gap or man protection, it means on the backside, it means the backside guard and the backside tackle have to get the B gap right here and the C gap right there. That's a terrible B. Let me try and fix that as best I can. That's still not very good. Let me clean up the picture and get rid of that. So basically these two guys, 64 and of course Donald Wright, 58, are responsible for any rusher coming through here, any rusher coming through here. And defenses know that. So what they try and do is they try and have the outside edge rusher threaten the tackle and then really work inside and then bring someone else across the edge. It requires great awareness from the outside tackle to hand off that inside rusher and then work to the outside. It's hard for any tackle, let alone a rookie. Let's watch how Darnell Wright handles it here. Or you can see backside, right tackle, right guard, working to the right, B gap, C gap right there. Watch Darnell Wright. He's threatened by Aiden Hutchinson. You can see 55 coming across the screen right now. He's coming on a blitz, but Darnell Wright has his eyes on him the entire way. This is just awesome stuff. You better believe he knew this was coming. This is what's so impressive from this rookie. It's almost like he's got a veteran sixth sense of when the blitz is coming. He recognizes it. He gives Aiden Hutchinson off, picks up the linebacker, big completion on the outside, first down Chicago Bears. Again, the Bears offense at times has struggled this year. But this right here, folks, this is quality stuff. Look at this pocket. You pick up the blitz. Justin Field reads the defense, hits the open man, first down. It works when you execute. It sounds so simple, but I tell you what, when you do a good job up front and your quarterback's seeing the field, good things tend to happen. Darnell Wright handing off Aiden Hutchinson, picking up the blitz. Great rep there. Great rep for the Bears offense. And I tell you what, Chicago fans, it's starting to come along. This offense is slowly but surely revealing its potential. All right, so on the previous play, we talked about the offensive line picking up some complicated rushes, giving Justin Fields a clear picture, and we're going to start to see later in the game Justin Fields is going to see the field a lot better because he trusts this offensive line. Here we go. We have Darnell right at right tackle right there. And off the screen, there's a free safety that came in motion right here. He's off the screen right there. He's actually going to come on a blitz. The Lions actually did a pretty good job disguising it, so they thought, but Darnell Wright's a really savvy rookie player at this point. He does a great job, again, handling off the inside rusher and then getting back in space. But again, Justin Fields, trusting his young tackle, sees the blitz, knows he's going to pick it up, throws it behind it for a slant in the first down. Let's check this out, folks. See the protection? You can see Darnell Wright check here. Watch him already. You can't even see the safety yet, but Darnell Wright does. He picks him up and Fields throws behind him. Completion, another big play, first down. This is offense, folks. This is a good offense. This is what the Bears have been missing, it feels like, the past couple seasons. Donald Wright's getting it. Hands off the inside rusher and immediately looks for the blitz. Justin Fields trusts that 58 is going to pick up the blitz, reads it accurately, throws a good ball, completion, first down. Yards after catch. I tell you what, Bears fans, it's starting to look good. 
And I get it. The Lions defense hasn't been playing great as of late, but they don't have bad players and they play very, very hard, right? So it's not like you're playing a team that's given up on the season or anything. This is just good execution. Hand off the inside rush, pick up the safety, quarterback trust the offensive line. The offensive line reward the quarterback's trust. Receiver catches the ball, makes a man miss, first down. This is it, folks. This is why the Bears can be a good team, maybe for the rest of this season, but also in the future as well, because you have guys up front and namely Darnell Wright who are starting to understand this NFL game and blitz pickups and what's going on in front of them, and they're executing on it. And we're starting to see quality offense from the Chicago Bears because of it. And we talked about the clean pocket for Fields really makes him a better passer. There was a stretch of games there. The you know after the first game the next four games Darnell Wright led up a sack every single game he has cleaned it up tremendously no sacks against the Detroit Lions for Darnell Wright he is really turning into quite the player and he's cleaning up his game getting better and better every week I can see the progression you can see it on the field you can see it through the stats Darnell Wright is getting better. And by the end of this season, I think he's going to be a stellar player for this Bears team. All right, got another pass protection for you there again is Darnell Wright at right tackle. And there is number 97 for the Detroit Lions, Aiden Hutchinson. And this is kind of a creative scheme from the Detroit Lions defense. You can see they've got a defensive tackle and a nose guard right here. And they've got their other defensive end right here on the outside. And they have two linebackers on this side. Normally, you would think at least one, potentially even both could be blitzing. But what that does is it creates, again, one-on-one -on -one matchups. This guard's obviously got to pick up that defensive tackle. This center obviously has to pick up this nose guard, unless this nose guard goes that way. But even then, the center's going to have to hand him off. So what does that mean? It means you got your one-on-one -on -one matchup right here, right? And this is what the Lions wanted. They said, hey, our number 97 can beat their number 58 and beat him quickly. That's why we wanted this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Let's watch Darn All Right once again take care of business, and dominate Aiden Hutchinson. Now, there's a snap again. You can see the right guard and center occupied by the defensive lineman. Leaves one-on-one -on -one matchup right there. Let's watch Darnell Wright get down in space. I tell you what, he keeps his head so low, it almost feels like he's burying his chest. But the more I watch of him, I just think that's just how he likes to play. He likes to play with his chest bent over his quads a little bit. It's just the way he feels comfortable. Obviously, it's working for him. But he just completely dominates Aiden Hutchinson. Sometimes it's that simple, right? Last season or earlier times this season, teams would get this situation, their best pass rusher on a Bears tackle, and it would end up being a big sack for the defense. Justin Fields would have no time, would have to scramble and create some of magic. Now you're starting to see Darnell Wright win matchups. And you're starting to see the Bears do a good job up front. And then suddenly Justin Fields is able to complete big balls down the field. This is awesome, folks. This is what's been missing all season long for the Chicago Bears. And sometimes the game of football is so simple. If you can block their best player, you can win. And if Darnell Wright continues to play at this level, there really aren't a lot of teams that can stop this Bears offense. I know that sounds like something crazy to say with what we've seen earlier this season. But again, this whole scheme from the Lions was to get Aiden Hutchinson one-on-one -on, -one on Darnell Wright all game long. And Darnell Wright won that matchup easily for the Chicago Bears offense. And we talk about Darnell Wright. We talk about this offensive line. We talk about getting better each week. We look at the pass blocking efficiency grade. That is something that's really important in PFF. It is a stat that measures pressures allowed on a per snap basis, heavily weighted toward allowing sacks. And Darnell Wright this week, a 98.7% pass block efficiency rating against Aiden Hutchinson. Once again, we cannot reiterate how important that is to see him have one of his better games against a really good pass rusher. We saw in college, he went against Will Anderson Jr., he pretty much shut him down when he was at Tennessee playing against Alabama. So we know he can go against the top tier opponents in this league. I just think Darnell Wright is getting better and this efficiency grade is very impressive. All right, I'm going to show a running play to switch things up here a little bit. And the Lions, again, they're a smart team, well-coached team. What they're going to do is they're actually going to reduce Aiden Hutchinson inside here. They're going to bring number six for the Lions on the in-man line of scrimmage here. And the whole point for the Detroit Lions is they're actually going to slant everybody up front this way. And again, the whole premise of this scheme for the Lions is they want to get 97, Aiden Hutchinson inside on Darnell Wright for one of two potential opportunities. So Darnell Wright's going to have to work this way to cut him off. And this is a tough situation for an offensive lineman because, again, Hutchinson's going to reduce here at the snap. And at this point, Darnell Wright has a really tough. If he just goes right at him, there's a chance Aiden Hutchinson can beat him across his face because Hutchinson's a great athlete. 
If Darnold right to, goes in to block him again, Hutchinson reduces and goes wide this. Hutchinson could backdoor, make the tackle for a loss. It puts Darnold right in a really tough position. He's got to kind of play it in between. He's kind of kind of slow play and react. It's not the prettiest play from Darnold right, but it results in a big run for the Bears offense. Let's check it out. All right, there's the reduction I talked about. You can see Aiden Hutchinson at the snap. He's firing inside. And again, this is the one-on-one -on -one matchup the Lions schemed all game long. Because again, you can see everyone else across the board. They're slanting to the right. They kind of created a pile right here, forcing the running back to cut through Aiden Hutchinson. And again, Darnell Wright, not perfect. He steps inside. He gets his shoulder into Aiden Hutchinson because he's kind of hesitating. He doesn't want Hutchinson to cut across his face, so he gets up the field, which is smart. But he kind of slow plays it because he doesn't want Hutchinson to backdoor him. And when you're kind of an in-between situation, you're going to get whacked a little bit. But he keeps fighting, right? He keeps fighting. He keeps battling. Gets just enough of Aiden Hutchinson and ends up being a big run down the field. Again, sometimes it's just being a good athlete and fighting and competing, right? This is not a win for Darnell Wright. PFF is going to give this a minus for him. But I tell you what, just, just cutting him off, because essentially he did cut him off in terms of how it worked out, because right there, there's the hole. Everyone else from Detroit Lions sprinted to the defensive right right there. Darnell Wright hold, held up Aiden Hutchinson just enough to open up this hash, results in a big play for the Bears offense. You know, obviously in the pass protection game, Darnell Wright dominated Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson did a decent job here. But again, Darnell Wright firing off the ball, getting some movement. No penetration from Aiden Hutchinson, holding him up in place. Sometimes it's just doing just enough, especially when you're put in a bad situation. Again, the whole game plan for the Lions in this case was for Aiden Hutchinson to bulldoze over whoever was blocking him, Darnell Wright, and make the play for a loss. Here, Darnell Wright, through his athleticism, through his competitiveness, and just try hard, does a good job, and the result is a nice run for the Bears' offense. All right, last play here. We're going to show, again, just an incredible example of how smart Darnell Wright is, and there he is, of course, at right tackle. You can see the Detroit Lions, they've got a three-technique lined up on the guard. They've got Aiden Hutchinson out here, and you can't see, but there's a linebacker lined up just outside of Cole Komet here, and this is a situation where a lot of offensive linemen, not just rookies, kind of lose track of their responsibilities here because, again, it's going to be kind of a zone protection here to this side up front for the Chicago Bears. And basically how it's going to work out is Aiden Hutchinson is going to threaten this way and then work into the guard. But because this linebacker is so deep right here, I guarantee you a lot of offensive linemen think, oh, he's going to be man-on-man -man coverage. He's so deep. There's no way he's coming on a blitz. But let's watch Darnell right here. Not only does he secure Aiden Hutchinson in time to make sure he hands him off to the guard, he also works out, picks up the linebacker on the blitz, ends up being another big play for the Bears offense. You can see Darnell Wright. He immediately, look at his eyes, folks. I don't know how he knew this blitz was coming. This has to be film study. This has to be smarts, or he's just a naturally gifted football mind. But right here, look at his eyes. I know he's protecting the C-gap here to his right, but he's already staring at Anzalone, number 34. You can see the outside of his shoulder right there. Hands off Aiden Hutchinson, picks off Anzalone. Justin Fields able to escape for a big run down the field. Again, this is what good offense looks like, right? Don't know what, hands off to his guard, who fights and scratches and claws and does just enough. And then Darnell Wright does a phenomenal job on Anzalone. Hands off, gets in space right here. Good position, good hand, shoves him outside, forces him up the field. Phenomenal rep. This is great stuff. And it's just got a sixth sense for it, right? Because right here, he's already looking at Anzalone and coming off the blitz, but he's got his left hand and his hip into Aiden Hutchinson, helping out his right guard, being a great teammate there, making sure it's handed off. Gives even a little bit of shove there. Watch this at the end. A little bit of shove and then comes off and picks up the linebacker. Great job and great protection up front. Justin Fields does what Justin Fields does, makes a great play with his legs. Bears win the game. Hey, right? I've said it a bunch of this film. Sometimes it's just this easy. When you block well up front and you have good players, good skill players, good things happen. It can be that easy. The Bears earlier this season, the Bears in 2022, weren't getting good blocking up front. They're starting to get it from Darnell Wright, and lo and behold, they're starting to win games.